Greetings and salutations and welcome to another video. In today's Inventor video, we are going through the Autodesk Inventor Certified User or the ACU exam in specifically the sketching section. In the last video, we went through part modeling and browser editing. In this video, we're gonna be applying dimensions to a sketch, assigning geometric constraints, projecting geometry, create and modifying geometric shapes and modifying an Inventor model. So let's get to it. Just gonna hop into Inventor and we're gonna grab a new part, we're gonna start a sketch and kapow, we're in. All right, so let's start with the circle. And we're just gonna say 10 mil, and we're then gonna start make line. And we're just gonna set them to be three mil. And we're gonna set the other line to be three mil. If you type and press tab, then press enter, it'll automatically dimension it for you. But in other cases, I can just delete the dimensions and I can just go to the dimension and select and manually dimension them, which is cool. The other thing about these is these are purely here. Uh, click cancel, let's get out of dimension. Click OK. If I just select these and turn them into construction lines, they now have no part in the overall what's going to be the feature, but do play a part in maintaining the geometry. And so if you go into an arc, I can then just arc over. Now you see, I was intentionally wait, went away from the glyphs, so then when you can go to your constraints, and if you just tap the concentric and go bang bang, it's all concentric now. You can automatically constrain, and sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's also good to actually know what's happening. But if you have, but if you actually, scroll over you can actually see all the glyphs here so you've got a concentric one here these are going through the x-axis it's this one here yeah vertical constraint i believe yep obviously they got horizontal constraints so now we're going to move on to let's do some more lines so we're going to make a line here and we're going to make a line here now what we can do is we can dimension this line here, okay? And we can then set these two equal to each other. There we go. Right, so let's go through here. So add dimensions to a sketch, we're doing, done that. Assign geometric constraints, we're doing it. Project a geometry, we actually need to make some geometry first and create a modified geometric shapes. So if we then go into back into Inventor and see what you can see here, it's we actually pro so what I've got here. Oh, see what we can also do is I can also make draw a couple of lines up here, and then you can actually set the ends coincident. So you just literally just tap the corners, and then you see I see we can then make two dimensions here and here. Click OK, and then what you can then also do. Sometimes you can actually set them to be equal to each other. And obviously we can set them to be of equal length. Click OK. And so you see now this is all fully constrained, but if I now change that to 140 and make you 140, obviously now it's not particularly happy. Now there are some little cheaty ways we can do this as well. If we select everything and go up to here, which is called the auto dimension tool, it will can automatically dimension it. Sometimes it doesn't always happen and sometimes you are missing other dimensions. So, obviously see, not always. And obviously as we start to tweak it, I can obviously make that 150. And that's that it's fully constrained. So obviously depending on what your setup is, it can constrain and unconstrain statuses. So now let's bring it back up. Assign geometric constraints, we've done that. So we can go through. So we've done coincident, which is joined two points. What we've got here, collinear. So you can obviously just join them, join parts together. Concentric, this is a fixed point, which is really kind of cheeky and not the best practice because it does lock things in place. It's more great if you're tracing a picture and you don't want that picture to move over. But than that, try and avoid pra practice of it. Parallel constraints. 
You obviously got parallel, which I could have set to these if I really wanted to. Cancel. You then got perpendicular constraint, horizontal, and vertical. Tangential, which is if you just grab a circle there, click OK, and obviously that I can then just say. The main issue is that if I fix. Does allow you to move it a bit. And obviously, what have you got here? Smooth, so obviously, you can G2 spline. So, if you look at uh, curvature, which I'll do a video on eventually, or you can go see TFI on what is a G2 curve and fillet, which kind of explains it. You've also then got symmetric, which I haven't done, and we have done equals. So, that ticks pretty much going through all of those. Project geometry. So, the easiest way to probably do that is to get out the sketch, extrude. Click OK, and so here you've kind of just got this shape here. Now you can either start a whole new shape on the surface, but now if you want to actually set some like boundaries and properly, if you go and project geometry, and then you can then just select the whole shape, and it kind of brings you up all of these. So if you want to use these as references, so let's say I want to put a whole, let's say five five mil, and I need it to be. 10 mils from it you've just projected the existing geometry already through it which is really really useful because it, it means you don't have to start tracing over or relying on other points you've got all the geometry you just bring it up into the next plane so that's useful and obviously then we can then just extrude cut through as you've got another hole underneath it Ta-da! create and modify geometric shapes so geometric shapes generally have would apply to say like polygons but looking at it it could be in, there's a lot of interpretation and so if you just go into polygon you can obviously then modify these okay, okay and you can throw a dimension on there also beware when you're dimensioning certain things that has done the horizontal distance whereas if I go and if you select it and then you select the face again, it will give you the face length. So yeah, you can edit so you can edit some shapes, but obviously they're going to set it to all be equal. So let's go and go to part. And so create a modify geometric shapes and modify an event model. Generally what it says modify and we're in the sketching. You're just going to be editing. So if you wanted to in here, generally by modifying, you go to an existing part so let's say try to think of what went affect future things so if you say like uh try think uh so if you say like a candy cane this ear uses a sketch and if we edit the sketch what i can do is i can go oh let's make it 150 and so I made it taller. Let's say I make it 37.5. And there you are, you've just modified it. You can just modify the dimensions. Obviously, you can modify angles. You can really modify anything that can be set as a parameter. So generally your dimensions and your angles. Which can all also be done if you get into manage parameters. So every parameter is set up here but obviously you've got some user parameters which you can set so you just say add numeric and you could define it etc etc so i believe that is everything into modifying and in sketching comment down below if you think i've missed anything feel free to critique if i miss anything i can always update it thank you for listening and i'll see you in the next video goodbye